Hi, my name's Karen and I work for Cernit, a polymer clay manufacturer based in Belgium, distributed throughout the UK by Clayground. Today's video, we're going to be making a Russian doll. Okay, let's make a Russian doll. We're going to be making a doll that's like this one. This is quite a large one that's used um, as a like a handbag charm or you can make smaller ones that can be used for bracelets and pendants and also smaller ones for fridge magnets. So we're going to start off with the basic body. So I've got some red clay, three strips of red clay actually and I'm going to squeeze together and lightly condition. You will want to spend more time conditioning, but as this is a quick video, I'm just going to condition lightly. So softening in my hands and rolling into a ball. Just making sure that the ball is nice and smooth. And then we're going to start shaping the doll. So I'm just going to squeeze at one end and turn so that we have a pear shape, keeping, the, keeping both ends rounded. So there we have our basic shape and we're going to start with the face. So I'm going to take a tiny amount of flesh colour and I've rolled the flesh into a ball and I'm just going to press with my fingers to flatten the piece and then I'm going to place the face, place the face on and the next bit we're going to do is the hair. So I've taken some brown clay, just two tiny amounts of brown clay, and again, roll into a ball. And this time, we're going to pinch at one end to create a sort of leaf shape. So there's one, and there's two. And we're going to place these onto the face and just pull slightly and curl around the face like that and then we're going to make the dress so for the dress I've used some white just a tiny amount, small amount of white I've rolled the white into a sausage and with a cocktail stick I'm just going to make these little ridges going all the way across and I'm going to place the white underneath the chin but not touching the chin and don't press down too much leave these, these ends sort of sticking out at the sides and then we're going to do exactly the same with the green. So ridges all the way across. This time we're going to place the green underneath the white and it's going to be touching the white. But again, press down but leave the ends sticking out. And the next bit is the scarf. So two tiny little balls again, pressed down and pinched at one end in the same way as we did the hair. So it's like two little leaf shapes. We're going to place these directly under the chin. And then we're going to make two little creases in the scarf using a cocktail stick. And now for the flower. So I've taken some blue clay 
and I've rolled into five tiny little balls which I'll put together to form a flower shape. So the five little balls go around like that to form a flower shape, leaving a gap in the centre. Take a cocktail stick and on each ball, which are your petals, take the cocktail stick and press down on each one. Then I'm going to take a tiny amount of yellow again into a ball and put in the centre of the flower like that and then we're going to take the flower and add the flower onto the dress then with a knife I'm going to just make a little cut there just to cut off the, the white and the green just be careful that you don't actually cut too far and go into the red so the same on the other side just pull those two bits away and for the head pin it's just a head pin with a jump ring attached to the head pin and I'm just going to push that into the head carefully so as not to distort the doll. And the last thing we're going to do before it goes into the oven is we're going to add some micro powders. This will just give it a bit of a sheen. So this is just like a, um, a metallic chalk. So just a little bit on a brush. And we're just going to take the micro powder all over the red part only. You don't have to do this, but it does just give it a nice shimmer. So all over. And then what we're going to do is we're going to place it onto a ceramic tile or baking tray and we're going to put it in the oven for around 15 minutes at 130 Celsius. Um, if you look on the, the, um, the Cernic packet it will give you a variation of temperatures but we're going to bake our doll at 130 for around 15 to 20 minutes. So once that's gone into the oven, I've got one here that I've made earlier and we're going to add the face. So once it is thoroughly cooled obviously, what we'll do is we will take a cocktail stick and two little dots for the eyes and with a cotton bud we'll add some pink to the cheeks so just some pink there on the cheeks and for the mouth, again use the cocktail stick, dip it into some brown acrylic paint and just put on your mouth. Now I've already started the spots on this one just to save some time. So I'll just show you very quickly how to put on spots. So just holding by the jump ring, apply the spots. If you dip the cocktail stick into the white each time you do a dot, then you will get the dots all the same size, which looks better than if you've got dots 
all different sizes. So once you've gone all over the doll with the dots, let it completely dry. It should take no longer than 10 to 15 minutes and then you can add a coat of varnish which will then make the body shiny. I've actually added the varnish to the hair and the red part only. And there you have your Russian doll.